Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to paint this easy moon and wolf silhouette in watercolor and gouache. So let's get started. I used a round Pyrex lid to trace a circle on my paper, then on the outside I used masking fluid. This will make it so that I can paint inside the circle quickly and not have to worry about getting paint outside the lines. I'm using Arch's cold pressed 300 pound paper and Winsor Newton and Daniel Smith tube watercolors for this painting along with some white gouache. I will have a list of all the supplies I used in the video description. Once the masking fluid is dry, I sketch my howling wolf. By the way, you can adjust the playback speed in the YouTube settings if you want to slow down or speed up the video. I use another circular object to trace the moon. This is my roll of tape. I want to make it big and dramatic, and I position it so it's right behind the wolf's head and neck. Now I wet the entire area inside the circle and will add the galaxy sky colors wet in wet. I start with Antwerp blue, then I add quinacridone violet, and I push that into the blue in some areas to make it mix into a very pretty light purple color. For the darker purple, I used carbazole violet. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more tutorials in watercolor and other media, please consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your support and I am here to help you in any way that I can as you learn how to draw and paint. I'm keeping the area inside the moon light, but still not too worried about the colors drifting inside the pencil lines since I don't want any hard edges. I will go back over the moon later with the gouache to get the distinct edges of the moon. I'm also keeping the darker colors away from the wolf and the cliff since I want the silhouette to really stand out from the background. While the paper is still wet, I use table salt to create texture in the sky. I'm being very liberal and I'm using a lot of salt, but I'm avoiding the moon and the wolf and cliff areas. Once it's completely dry, I scrape off the dried salt and then start painting the moon. Gouache dries more transparent than it looks when it's wet, so I am laying it on fairly thick. I like using gouache for this because, like watercolor, it can be reconstituted and pushed around even after it dries. It helps to continue to blend some of the galaxy colors into it, and then keep working on the intensity and the brightness as I go.
Next, I start painting the Wolf and Cliff silhouette. I added Payne's Gray to my palette, and I'm mixing it with the Carbazole Violet to get a nice dark color. I'm painting on dry paper, and just filling in the entire area as uniformly as I can. Just an aside here, in my last video I asked you to give me some more art tutorial ideas for my channel, and I really appreciate all the feedback and ideas you gave me. If you have any more suggestions for what you would like to see me paint, please leave a comment below this video. Back to the moon, I add another layer of gouache on the left side to brighten it up and contrast more against the dark purple sky. I'm going to glaze the sky and tone down the salt effect just a little bit. I start by wetting the sky and I'm avoiding the moon and the silhouette this time. I will add water beyond the point that I will add the paint so that I can make sure there is a soft transition with no hard edges. I add a watery glaze of Antwerp blue and this deepens and unifies the colors. While it's still wet, I'm using the tip of my brush to dot on fuzzy stars with the gouache. The gouache spreads a little on the wet paper, which creates the soft, dreamy effect. I decided the silhouette wasn't dark enough, so I added another layer of the Payne's Gray and Carbazole Violet mix. The sky is a little bit drier now, but it's still damp, so I will add some more gouache stars. These will be a little brighter and less fuzzy since the paper isn't as wet. This adds some interest and depth to the look of the stars, having some brighter and some softer. I'm using gouache to add the moon-tipped highlights to the wolf's fur and the cliff's edge. And back to the left side of the moon again, I'm brightening it and softly blending it out towards the center.
Once the background is completely dry, I use my fingers to remove the masking fluid. Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel to see more drawing and painting tutorials. And don't forget to let me know what you would like to learn in future videos. Happy painting, and I hope you join me for my next tutorial. Bye!